Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. Even weeks after its conclusion, the buzz is still lingering about the 38th annual White Marlin Open. And why not? With some of the season's most impressive fish and prizes, it's becoming a must-see event in Ocean City. But this week, we're not talking about big money. We're examining a priceless opportunity for scientific research. That's good, perfect. My name is Ann Bars. I'm a professor at Salisbury University. And for Dr. Bars, a day on the docks at Harbor Island is just another day at the office. When you're done, you can put it in there. I'm here with several of my students, and we're collecting biological specimens from the billfish that are coming in. So uh, primarily, I'm studying uh, flatworm parasites of billfishes, uh, primarily white marlin, blue marlin, and uh, round scale spearfish. From a spectator's point of view, what appears to be part butcher shop is also part science lab. We want to warn you, if you get grossed out easily, you might want to look away for a couple of minutes and then come back. For the rest of you, this outdoor classroom comes complete with power tools and is about as hands-on as you can possibly get. Perfect. For a researcher, the White Marlin Open is a real catch. 75 pounds, news in the third place. It's a fact of science that you need specimens to study, and here anglers competing for big money aren't always interested in keeping their catch. So the food goes to the Maryland Food Bank, and the other parts are free to be poked, prodded, and otherwise examined. Thanks. For the parasite study, Dr. Bars is hoping to shed new light on the type of flatworms that seem to love migratory game fish, like white marlin and tuna. It's important to you know document something about these worms because you know, we don't know anything about them. Most of the papers, or many of the papers, were published in the 1800s, and so there's really very little known about them. For another group of scientists from the University of South Florida, the goal is to answer a common question that amazingly remains unanswered. What exactly is a billfish's bill really used for? Feeding? Defense? See there are many. You can see that uh, this, food, this fish lost its bill some time ago. The arrival of a white marlin with a broken bill could also be beneficial in answering questions about the bill's strength. So we cut the head. We try to keep the bill intact. We take it to the lab, and one of the, our main experiments right now is that we are um, attaching strain gauges along the bill. The strain gauges actually measure the tiny deformations of the bill when you apply the load, when you apply force at the tip. And, and having that information all along the bill allow us to figure out the strength of the bill and how flexible is the bill. By week's end, these research teams will have collected dozens of pieces of data for their own studies and for others across the country. And some new research could be published in just a few months. And for an event that's helped Ocean City gain a reputation as the white marlin capital of the world, the White Marlin Open has also found a place as a partner in the world of science.